Hey everybody, here we are for match two. We are one and oh, we've won the die roll. That's part of our plan. Uh, white is part of our plan, but this is an okay keep. We've got the unsummon. Uh, we need to hit that plane, so it's not the best of hands, but we do have some plays if we just top deck islands. So we'll keep. Even got a desert for our camel. Opponent's going to six. Kept their six. Scryed to the top. Must be nice. Drop an island, pass the turn. <clears throat> what are we up against? White. Ugh. You are not part of the plan. I mean, you're part of the plan, but planes has to come first. White, white. Mummy paramount. Ooh, white, black, eh? <clears throat> Please be a land. R.I.P. us. Or rip, as I think the kids say. Look at me, being hip. Red, white, my favorite deck to play against. Good thing the format got shook up, eh? In for two, sounds good. Solitary camel online. Gross. Planes. I also have a solitary camel on line. Is that what I want to do? Doesn't block either. Could aerial guide. That's not going to get us back in the game. Could hold up sandblast. Eh, no. Let's drop a camel. <clears throat> I wonder if we're going to see some unconventional tactics. Sun Scourge Champion. Alright. Opponent, you're real life gaining like here. Cartouche Zeal. I'm so glad this format changed. It's such a different format. It's so new and refreshing. <laughs> we're at 10 on turn 4. Uh, well... Let's get ourselves not at 10, I guess. Drop an Anointer Priest. Not paying one life for the blue, for unsummon. We can unsummon the Sun Scourge Champion. It's going to gain him more life. It's going to get rid of the Cartouche, though. Um, Yeah, let's block here. What you got? Anything? Nothing. Bounce your Sun Scourge. <clears throat> Goodbye, Cartouche. I will go back to 10. You will go back to 25. You will drop your Sun Scourge champion. You will go back up to 27. Pretty good. Pretty good. And an F crop. Sure. So again, as I'm talking about the wall, the wall would suck in this matchup because, oh, it blocks the camel. And then my opponent still gets in for six or seven damage every friggin' turn. Um, it just doesn't work in this format. Uh, well, I think we need to keep up Sandblast. So pass the turn. Could we maybe active heroism something? We could make this into a 5 4 and like block block. That's going to get exerted though, like almost guaranteed. Oh, I'm dead if I go to two. What is this? Oh, plus one, plus one till the turn. You're gonna chef it dunes me, eh? Okay, okay. <clears throat> kind of gross. Kind of gross, opponent. Is that exerted? That is exerted. So we can have a five-four that can kill one thing. We can have a three-five that could block and kill that. We could trade there. I would take seven, but it would actually only be four, and he'd be left with <clears throat> um, that'd be dead. That'd be dead. He'd be, that'd be exerted. He'd be left with a two four. I could sandblast, killing the camel. Trade. Hold this back and take 7, go to 10. That sounds bad too. 
Um, well, next turn, if I sandblast, next turn I could... No, I don't have the extra white to active heroism and sacred cat. Um, hmm. Well, let's active heroism the priest. Eat the camel. Uh, trade here. And take the seven. Go to three. Gain three. Go to six. Oh, he sacked the ruins to the Shepherd Dunes. Interesting. Okay, we got the planes, so we can cat sandblast. So we got that going for us. Yeah, let's cat sandblast. Oh, it's down to one card. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to claw our way back into this, but we can try. So unfortunately, we're going to have to hold up the sandblast again. That sucks a little bit. Um, this is going to be trampoly. It's going to be four trample. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no, he can do that. That'll be four trample, four three. That's a little bit gross. This will be a three four. This will be a three three. Could drop an Aven Initiate, which would trade with the Nef crop, and we would take. Or no, no, it could not trade because that's going to be a four four. Um, could drop an Aven Initiate, which would trade with the Mummy Paramount. Um, take three trample, but it's actually only two trample. Go to one. That sounds real bad. But then we'd get the cat back, and we'd get a life off of that. Following turn, if we hit lands, we could maybe get the even initiate back. Otherwise, we sandblast, in which case we would sandblast the 4-4 four four probably and have really unprofitable blocks. Um, let's hold up the Sandblast. <clears throat> Coming in, no Shepet Dunes, okay. Making that a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, let's block. Got a trick? No. Well, let's sandblast it. Another one! Hooray! Alright. What do we got? We get start. Surprise blockers are pretty fun. Yeah, let's have some surprise blockers. Plus gain two life off those surprise blockers. Shepherd Dunes, sure. Well, actually, I will bring in the wall for game two, just to uh, see what it would do. I don't think it would do much. Ooh, no, he's exerting that. I was going to say it's a 3-2. We actually have to kill it. Uh, let's bring in our warriors. Gain a couple of life here. Um, let's kill a mummy paramount. Or we could kill maybe the Sunscourge champion. You can get it back, though, with, uh, with more. We could kill that. Yeah, let's kill the Nefcrop. I assume he kills the Anointer Priest and a Warrior? <clears throat> no. Kills the most creatures he can. Alright, so we're going to gain another life off bringing that cat back. Bring back the cat. Gain a life. And then drop, I guess, three twos our best bet. Hold up a blue. 
Oh, we can't hold up a blue. Never mind. We could hold up a blue. That was frigging tapped. Magic Online, I hate you so much. So very, very much. <clears throat> Alright, so the opponent has decimated their land base. They've attacked as much as they possibly can. They're still just going at it. Alright. Well, show me your tricks. No tricks. No plays. Okay. Well, let's bring back that Avon Initiate. Tap that. Is it tapped? Yes. Oh, had I not tapped a blue or something? I don't know. Whatever. Avon Initiate back. Gain another life. <clears throat> uh, in with the cat. Take him to 30. Get ourselves up to 6. Boy, it'd be great to draw, like, Camel, Camel, Camel. Bye, Haven Initiate. I wasn't going to kill your Sunscrooge Champion anyways. I don't want you bringing it back as a 4-4. Four -four. No attacks. Got there. Ooh, Temet. Don't mind if I do. Temet and an Aerial Guide. And we'll give the cat unblockable. And we'll get in for two. Take our opponent to 28. Take ourselves up to eight. Claw on our way back. Chaos Maw. No attacks. Perfect. Perfect. We're getting there. Getting there. Unquenchable thirst. Yeah. Taste it. But you can't taste it because you're just always thirsty. Um, yeah. How greedy do we get here? I don't think we attack with team. Not that greedy. Uh, Temet. I believe you can fly. Take our opponent down to 22. All right. Back in this game somehow. Boy, opponent went balls to the wall and uh, didn't quite get there. Island. Boop, 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 ba doop. On tap. Uh, the aerial guide, I guess. Aerial guide makes Temet fly. 2, 4, 6, 8. Take our opponent to 14. Us to 12. Going good. Might even mill myself. Just to give him some more tokens out. Puncturing blow. Oh, it exiles it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's fine. It's no big deal. Um, so what can we hit? We've got another Anointer Priest. We've got Avon Wind Guide. Avon Initiate's already gone. Sacred Cat's gone. We could hit a, uh, Adorned Pouncer. Is that 3 out of 20 things we can hit? What if it's 4? Let's say it's 4 out of 20 things we can hit. It's still only a 20% chance to hit something. Not worth it this turn. Uh, we'll cycle, though. Cycle into an unwavering initiate, which would have been in the graveyard. Um, yeah, we're going to come in with team because we're at a much cushier life total. We'll untap the Anointer Priest. We'll give the Anointer Priest flying. <clears throat> Two, four, six. Take our opponent to eight. Drop the Unwavering Initiate. Hold up a blue for on summon. Holy cannoli, we got there. We were also going to mill a Market and a Survivor's Encampment. Wouldn't have been terrible. Um, fine. Let's try it. Let's put the wall in. Let's put the stupid wall in. Uh, so what doesn't work here? Is Kefnit's last word just too slow in this matchup? Like, what would we take? We'd take a 2-1 or a 2-3. Or 
right? It just, it wouldn't even feel good. So yeah, let's take Kepnet's last word out. Super powerful, but not in this matchup. Oh, I feel so dirty putting that wall in. Uh, yeah. This is a hand and a half. Keep. Play your one drop. No one drop. Oopsie daisies, I should have played that desert. That's what I get for uh, sorting my cards and picking the card that I'm going to play and then playing it right away. Whoopsiest of daisiests. Alright, you got no red. Pouncer. And we'll follow that up with a priest. Aww. Canra scrapper. I guess. Kind of a jerk move. Honestly, maybe I just active hero, isn't it? Yeah, I just want to keep him off creatures. So we're going to come in for one. Uh, I assume he's going to block. Because he thinks that I'm thinking that he's not going to block. And then he blocks. And then we go active heroism. And we kill it. So we've got Unquenchable Thirst online to tap down this disgusting thing, because screw Afflict. Island Unquenchable Thirst. In for two. Plus an Anointer Priest. Pass the turn. Solitary Camel with Lifelink Online. Gross. With a cartouche. Ooh, okay. Well, this race changed a little bit. So he's going to attack. That's fine. We'll attack back in. Pretend that we're going to try to race this impossible race and farm the Solitary Camel. In for three. Drop a Priest. Pass the turn. block any tricks you want to do for some weird reason no farm it wreck crop sure okay deck stop drawing lance let's uh let's mark it here oof oof um one island's going to go. And yeah, just the other island's going to go too. Uh, team? Maybe not team. Maybe team? We're not going to block. So yeah, just team. Three. Sure. Steward of Solidarity. That's a whole lot of blockers. Damn it. Uh, team. Block. Sandblast it. Gotcha. Down to 14. Drop ourselves a Temet. No, Temet. No. No. My plans. All right, opponent, what you got? Unwavering Initiate. And they're down to one card in hand. We're down to 10, so now we start slowing down a little bit. Um, you're 5? That's gross. Fine. 
five is gross. Okay, we are going to bring back Temet. Gain a life. Two life, actually. Next turn, we can drop Avon Wind Guide and make Temet fly. Or he can't be blocked anyways, right? Yeah, he'll be a 3-3 uh, a three, three that can't be blocked. So we maybe just start instead. This is going to come in with first strike, I assume. No, just the initiate, eh? Uh, I will take three. Uh, yeah, we're going to make Temet unblockable, so nothing else needs to be cast here just yet. So let's make him unblockable, bring him in for three. Um, let's try to trade the Pouncer as well, because then we can bring it back. Just takes the uh, the five. Okay. Well, I'll pass the turn and keep up start then. Still one card in hand. Ooh, sack in the desert. Yeah, demolish your mana base. I dare ya. In in exert. I will cast start. Gain myself four life. Hey, we won. All right, we are 2-0. Oh. We're going to go into the finals. This deck is pretty solid. We took down red-white and a ridiculous, stupid version of red-white anyways. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for round three, or maybe we can take this whole draft down.